Hello, this is Tom from the Dreamcast Junkyard and today I'm taking a look at a Dreamcast promotional disc that was released in Japan only. This is a not-for-sale disc and I was sent it by a gentleman called James, uh, the same guy in fact who had the uh, Metropolis Street Racer Alpha footage recently. Uh, so this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. I've never, I've never seen this before. I've never played it. Don't know what's on it. Uh, there's, there is a picture up on the screen now. So this is Dreamcast promotion disc. Uh, it says press start. There, I've missed that. I've gone into the demo. Right. Okay. Press start. Okay. So here we have that. Looks to me like Blue Stinger. Uh, Blue Impulse. I think that is there. Aero dancing and Buggy Heat. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. No, it's just those three. Uh, so let's have a look at Buggy Heat and see how that plays. Can't read any of that. Uh, that at the bottom though, the blue, red, yellow, green and start is telling you how to reset the system to go back to the main menu I'd imagine. As is the uh, the soft reset. If you didn't know that, basically hold down all the face buttons and press start and you restart the Dreamcast. It's quite handy when you've got games that don't reset back to the, the menus after you've played them. Certainly on some of the compilations you can get. That's the only way you can get back to the uh, the main menus. I have positioned myself away from the Dreamcast so you can't, well, you shouldn't be able to hear it grinding away, but if you can then I apologise. I have played an early version of this on one of the, um, oh, the, uh, the Dreamcast Express discs. Uh, oh, sorry, you, you basically, you, you, Oh, it's not playable. It's it's literally a it's literally a video. That's disappointing. I did say that I've not actually played this yet, and I've not done anything with it other than just have it sat on a shelf. So yeah, slightly disappointing. It's not playable. Oh wait a minute. It might be. I take that back. I thought it was a rolling demo. Okay, so it's not totally the same as the um, the one on the Dreamcast Express demo disc because that one has got really com completely different handling as to what's in the final game. You can actually move the uh, the the view around with the analog stick and then control with the um, the D-pad. So yeah, this is obviously just a very basic demonstration of one track, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, it's not handling very well to be honest. Think of a, if, this, if this was the first time I played Buggy Heat, I'd be asking why the car doesn't actually turn, even though the wheels look like they, they are turning. Let's see if there's any other views. Driver's view. Uh, I do like the motion view because you've got the little cutaway in the corner there, shows you the, uh, the gears and the brake being pressed and I think that's quite cool. I know that the speedos are actually working but uh, you can't have everything can you? <laughs> Especially not in 1998 or 99 whenever this came out. It doesn't turn! Look! I'm literally turning all the way to the right. You can see in the, little, in the bottom corner that I'm turning. Over some logs. Oh, that's a nice water effect. Let's go back and have a look at that. You can't say no. Oh, you can. Reverse, time up. Oh, good to get a slow down there, that's weird. Reverse. I just turned you back round. <laughs> Brilliant. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just one lap. Yeah, you against yourself. Brilliant. Three. No, I don't want to see a replay. One. Go. See what's next. Oh, it's coming soon. Coming soon, Buggy Heat, that's it, that's your lot. The one track against yourself. I suppose it's not bad for a demonstration just to show you what the game's gonna be like. And bear in mind back in, you know, 98 when this came out, obviously that would have been a really good looking game. I've just done a soft reset there with the other buttons and the start button again. So then let's have a look at let's have a look at Blue Stinger.
I have a feeling this might be a video just because that doesn't look like actual Dreamcast boot footage. And why would it be when it's already in game? I'm talking rubbish. It's coming in 2000. Or is it set in 2000? Can't remember. Let's get past this. I'm pressing the A button and it's just resetting to this screen over and over again so I'm wondering if it is literally just a video. Either way this might be quite cool to see, I don't I don't remember ever seeing this before. That said it might even be in the PAL version so it's been that long since I played it. In my cans of Hassie. Wow, 15 years ago, 2000 AD. To be honest, I'm sure you've all seen this. That looks like it may just be a rolling demo. You can see there in, in uh, the uh, Japanese text, you've got 98, you've got 1298, 1298. Yeah, so that's obviously some kind of release date information. Let's reset and go back to the main menu. Here we go, promotion disc. And then let's have a look at this. This might be a playable one because it's got controls that say up, down. Coming in uh, in March 1999, it looked like. Pretty sure Japanese dates are in the same format as American dates, where they have the month before the day. Suspicious like video, not in game uh, actual in engine footage. Right, start. I know the demo on one of the other discs that I've got, one of the Dream, uh, Dreamcast Express discs, is it's using the engine, but you can't actually play it. All you can do is switch camera views, so that's a bit odd. And this, just at the bottom there, it said Dreamcast Magazine, so. Uh, Let's have a let's have a go at free flight. I'm quite hopeful this might actually be playable. Let's go for a jaunt around the island. Well, admit that says at the bottom city, so I'm thinking maybe city's the only one that's playable. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, the F15 is the only one that's usable as well. I'm not complaining. Slow low flight. No, it's the same, it's a replay, but you can change the view. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you can see the little thing with like the controls for like forward, back, pause, etc. Camera, uh, formation, camera nose, cameraman, cockpit on board. So you can change the camera. Get rid of that. Pause. Play. View. Yeah, so I mean, it's a bit again, it's a bit disappointing that you can't play it, but if you saw this running, that's obviously in, in engine, it's just a replay. You would think it looked quite good because prior to this, I mean, flight games on consoles, you, you literally had you know, like Shockwave Assault on the 3DO, it's just like texture map floors. I know there were things like Ace Combat out on the PlayStation, but even they didn't have like this amount of, you know detail with the, the actual polygon building and everything like that. Not to that extent anyway. That there is um, blacking out and red eye. That's a nice effect. I've not seen that in, I've, I've certainly not seen it in other console flight sims before this. 
that's where the blood rushes out, rushes out of your out of your head or, or you get too much in your head because of the G's. But you knew that. Yeah, so I'm not actually playing this, I'm just watching a, a rolling demo, so it seems a bit pointless. Um, so yeah, going back to the main menu again, that is literally it. This is a... I think it might be nice for someone to see this who's never seen it before. I've never seen it before. Uh, and it, it says on the disc that it's not for sale, so it must have just been literally something that they had in shops, like rolling demo, uh, you know, one of them demo pods or something. But yeah, that's the uh, the Dreamcast promotion disc. I hope uh, you got some enjoyment out of watching me bumble my way through that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.